and uh, shine a bright light on it. Um, so, Fantastic. Hey, uh, Kim, if I could answer. just ask a, ask a quick question on that uh, same topic, because there was a point at which I was told by someone who apparently had access to this um, Discord server for these NATO uh, or NAFO trolls that I was among their top targets, or even their number one target for a while. So I'm just sort of a personal curiosity. By the way, this is uh, Michael Tracy. Um, and, <laughs> um, and so, Elon, I'm just curious if you were able to detect or gauge any inauthentic activity on Twitter specifically related to this sort of pro-Ukraine faction, or, you know, is there, was there a particular sort of system that kind of connects those actors that you were able to discern since you've taken the helm? Um, well, the, the, the tools that Twitter currently has to detect uh, large-scale manipulation are, are quite weak and very expensive uh, to, to have um, bots and trolls. It can be like... It's like a guy sitting in front of eight phones, right? That's just how yeah, they operate. Yeah, exactly. It's like, the, the farms are guys sitting in front of eight phones. Yeah, yeah. like there's like... Well, unfortunately, the, the, the disinformation uh, budget for the CIA for these NAFO bots is over a hundred million dollars. I mean, even if you throw eight dollars per month per account in front of them, it's not... Is that really going to stop them? Uh, not the eight dollars. Um, the... the... <laughs> If it was purely a question, then I think it, it they could overcome a budget uh, challenge. But but the but but also then having to have uh, a huge number of phones and a huge number of credit or debit cards um, 